These are the voices of some of Africa's most vulnerable children. They belong to the African Children's Choir. Many of these children have lost one or both parents to poverty or disease. The youngest is seven, the oldest 12. For them, singing in the choir is a way to break free from the hopelessness and poverty they face in their homelands. Their living arrangement is very basic. They live in a, a mud house or a brick house. Generally, they don't have plumbing or electricity, so the kids are walking some distance to bring water home in a jerry can. In its 20 plus years, the choir has given children from Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, and Ghana the chance to express themselves in song. It has released a number of albums and performed at major events and venues around the world. Those fortunate enough to be chosen for the choir are sent to a music training camp. There they learn to perform before an audience. They also study academics and attend Sunday school. Each year, two choirs are chosen to tour the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ through song. Organizers say touring helps them raise money to give each child a quality education in their native land. It also exposes the kids to a world of new possibilities and wonder. It's not often the luxuries that fascinate them, but little things like an electric hair dryer or an escalator or, or something awesome. uh, simple like that. My favorite place was New York, and I like how, how they put the buildings, like how they, uh, it looks like. We get to meet so many people and try new foods. I like lasagna. CBN News met up with the choir as they prepared for a concert in Chesapeake, Virginia. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. When the tour ends, the kids return to Africa, equipped with fresh hope and sponsors dedicated to helping them excel academically. Many are eager to return home to share their experience with loved ones. I've got to tell them I had a lot of fun. I know I thought that I'll have fun like this much. While mindful of the challenges that remain back home, they are filled with faith for a brighter future for themselves and others. I'm praying to God so other people can come in the choir and they have sponsors like me. When I grow up, I'm the president of Uganda and help my country and make it a better place. Charlene Israel, CBN News.